Yo, what's good, y'all? So, this is the second part of my January 2nd vlog. My first part of the January 2nd vlog is gonna be my New Year's vlog, which I am going to have as my January 1st vlog. Uh, but yeah, that one I talked a lot about my goals for 2021. Uh, so, that was like, you know, that's, that's what it is, you know. If you guys want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description below or you can just click on the previous uh, vlog episode to check out what my goals are for 2021. And, you know, if y'all want to keep me accountable, keep me accountable. Um, yeah, I'm going to do my best to keep myself accountable. And Usually every year I hit two out of my three goals. So, yeah. Uh, so... Usually it's like, I believe I can do two and three is the pushing pushing point. So, yeah. So, but if I could do all three goals, that would be like super, like I'd be super happy about that. So, yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, my goals for, for last year actually was to, my three goals for last year was to build up my resume, which I did uh, with classes and performances as well as like with um uh some of the production work that i've done so that's like dope so that was like one of them to build up my resume i ended up building it more on the production side rather than the acting side uh the other one was to get headshots which i got done really late uh but i still got them done by the end of the year thank you to my brother thank you to austin go check out his links in the description below um so that was my second one and then my third one was to get into the acting conservatory which i did so that's awesome so those three goals i was able to accomplish last year and i'm really happy that that happened so and then a lot of other stuff happened as well that i was not expecting to happen um that wasn't part of my 10-year plan so yeah um but yeah that's enough about all of that stuff so let's just hope i can get these goals done for this year um again check the previous vlog to see what those goals are uh cool so new year's was dope i spent it at, in san diego with, with my friends um i really appreciate them having me and i appreciate dorothy potts for like you know giving me this uh, i just got back today uh, because i got a flat tire and um, that was like a huge bummer. When I was on my way down on New Year's Eve, I like hit something on the highway. I couldn't really see what it was, but like it was really big. And my boy Herbie was on the phone with me and he like heard that I ran over something like while we were up, like on the phone together. And I was just like, yeah, that was, uh, it was pretty scary. Um, I was like 30 minutes in and I was kind of scared. Like what if something happened to my car, but I wanted to make it down. So I just like, pushed all the way not the smartest thing to do if that ever happens to you definitely just pull over and like check out what's going on on in your car instead of like pushing through um because it's better to get it done like earlier than later so yeah but uh on new year's day like or when i got there on new year's eve i checked my my tires and everything everything seemed fine and so it was cool and then new year's day uh afterwards we uh like i got in my car and then like as i started driving i started like feeling that it was off balance and then my tpms light came out so yeah and then i had a flat tire so that was a bummer uh but it is what it is uh the homie omar helped me out uh with replacing my tire with my spare tire so i appreciate him for doing that um and yeah so that was like dope, but, or that was like a bummer, but at least the dope part of it was that I got to spend some more time with my friends. So that was nice. And we went to the beach and watched the sunset for New Year's Day. And that was like really fun. Um, on New Year's Eve, we also rented an Airbnb together and just like had a small little get together party. It was fun, had a lot of cool conversations, a lot of like learning about other people's. And yeah, I had a great time. So, so, uh, yeah, and on New Year's Day, like I said, we watched Sunset at the beach. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I had an early night. I, like, passed out, like, at, like, 7 o'clock at night, 
as soon as we got back from the beach, basically, and after we ate dinner, I like passed out because I was exhausted. Um, yeah, because like on New Year's Eve, like after the ball drop or whatever, after midnight, like I was up until seven in the morning just talking with my friends. So yeah, um, so I was like, I didn't get enough sleep at all. And then today, January 2nd, uh, just spent some time with, the, with, with my friends at the house and yeah, we just like ate food, talked a little bit. Um, and then somebody, I don't know who, I'm pretty sure it was Omar, uh, just replaced my tire. Uh, so I really appreciate that. I have no idea who officially it was, but I'm pretty sure I know who it was. But whoever it is, thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate you. I have the greatest friends and like, I love y'all. Like, it was so much fun hanging out with y'all, so much fun, like, having conversations with y'all. And then, like, to top it off, you guys fixed my fixed my flat tire. I really appreciate that. Like, ah. Uh, and then you guys are also just so supportive of me and my career. Like, a lot of these people helped out with, like, my San Diego shoots for uh, the PSA. So it's like, I really appreciate this group of friends. Um, I love them very much and my experience in California wouldn't be the same at all like if I had never met any of you guys so thank you all from San Diego and I love y'all um I really do wish I could live down there but I, I mean I kind of want to but like it's so far from LA and Hollywood that like you know I know it can be done but it's just probably not the smartest thing to do um so yeah but I love you San Diego squad and please come up to LA and come visit sometime when it's safe and yeah I miss y'all so and I love y'all so cool so that's it that was like a summary of like what happened over New Year's stuff just like the basic summary of what happened over New Year's I wish I could have had videos to show you guys but this is what you get instead you just get a full face talking arrow so and when I got back here, I basically just like, uh, I just finished editing some vlogs. I played some Final Fantasy with the homies Makai and Obed. And yeah. Uh, and then I finished watching like Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And then took a nap and stuff. So yeah, that's uh, what I did today. Tomorrow, uh, I got my D&D uh, group meeting. So finally... Um, my D&D group that I'm DMing is gonna meet up again. It's been like about a month, I think, since we last met. So I'm super pumped. Uh, and it's been like a, probably like a month and a half since we've like touched the actual main story of our D&D uh, campaign. So I'm super excited for tomorrow. And yeah, that's cool. So that's like the biggest thing that I planned. And then I got church and stuff and called my family, so. Yeah. All right. That's it. So I'm gonna head. Uh, I'm gonna head to sleep. Call it a night. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Love y'all and have a good night. Peace. Damn. Who is this fly guy? Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. I'm done. <laughs>